done. These ones are really pretty, but these ones look so cool with like the airplane blueprints on them. Anyway, yes, I have a mess. But Jessica placed an order for scrunchies, so I need to find the ones that she wanted. Cacti and cherry blossoms. <laughs> um, Wonder Woman. Mermaid scales. And two of these. So I'm going to pack these up so I can send them at the same time I send the masks to my grandparents. So yeah, like busy, busy girl these last couple days. So I think, let's see, it's noon now. I'm still in my pajamas because I just, I woke up at like 10.30, puttered for a bit. My grandma accidentally butt dialed me and so that happened. <laughs> And we chatted for a bit. I was like, Grandma? Grandma? She's like, who have I called? <laughs> and um, so we chatted for a bit. And then I got straight into finishing the masks, which took about an hour, which is what I expected. And yeah, I woke up to a text message from Jessica saying, hey, it took me a while to decide, but can you send me all these type? And I was like, I didn't think you were going to place an order because I know she wants the ghosts that I'm going to make in the fall. But yeah, so noon now, like I said, maybe I'll go have some, I'll pack these up and then maybe have something to eat and then hopefully go mail everything and then finish those guys today. Oh, I got an email last night from my one boss saying, oh, hey, I was talking to some of the other people and there's a haul out on the 24th. So I'm supposed to go on the 25th. A haul out is when a boat comes to town and gets pulled out of the water and they check everything and do maintenance. Um, can you come on the 24th instead? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> every single year when I'm supposed to go out, I've come out, I've gone out the day before. So my first year I was supposed to go on the 27th, I came out on the 26th. Last year I was supposed to go on the 26th, I went out on the 25th. This year I was supposed to be the 25th, and it's the 24th. So I think I just need to always bank on the day before. I did, however, specifically say 24th or 25th, and they're like, definitely the 25th. Anyway, so that's exciting and that's good. Uh, it just means I have one less day to get things together. So I'm going to try to start packing non-food things today and clothing that I know I'm not going to wear between now and then. I should do a load of laundry too. And um, yeah, <laughs> a little bit stressful because I thought I had 10 days and I went from having like 10 days yesterday to now having eight days today. But we'll figure it out. I'm going to pack these up and then get the show on the road for the other things I mentioned. <laughs> well, hello, I was out and now I am back. Um, I have changed clothes, was I? I think I was just in pajamas. I've changed clothes now out of my pajamas into clothes and then out of those clothes into these clothes because one of the, one of the stops we had when we went out was my mom had to go pick up her check for her tugboat shopping that she does and the guy that she does it with has a really cute puppy. Um, <laughs> I don't have a picture from today, but I do have a picture from when she was like six months old. Look at that face, it was ears. She's almost one, which is very exciting. I think next week is when she turns one, but I got to play with her and it was so much fun and she was so cute and she loved me so much and she was like trying to drag me into the house and also just chew on me. <laughs> but anyway, so I got the scrunchies that Jessica ordered shipped. I got all the masks for my grandparents shipped. My mom <laughs> sent off the scrunchies that I made for her boyfriend's daughter and they bought, so those are sent too. So we mailed a lot of things and then we went and saw the puppy. And then what do we do? Then we went to the fabric store because yesterday we were in there and I saw fabric like this and I love this fabric working with this fabric and just seeing this fabric makes me so happy and so I was like oh my god they have some and I thought about it yesterday I'm like I should go pick up like three more meters because I'm out and I love this and um they were out very sad so naturally I bought stuff anyways <laughs> we went to superstore after and I really wanted I saw Pringles and I was like I haven't had Pringles for a long time so I got some Pringles I also picked up a small thing of a contact solution for blind channel I have disposable contacts um, but they're like weekly disposable so you know every every once in a while I instead of wearing them for the whole week I take them out and my mom my mom was very nice and she bought me this thread holder 
So my thread collection is kind of getting up there and I'll show you my solution. I keep the majority in this and the reason this has my name on it and that's on hockey tape I think is um, I was taking home ec in like grade 12 I think and um, I needed to have a thing that had all my stuff in it so I had that and then I ran out of room in there so I've been using this as like a thing to hold coasters but hey it holds thread too. The bobbin situation is pretty well under control but the thread thing could use help which is why I now have this so this should be better. Hopefully they'll all fit. I think they should fit on there, no problem. Anyways, but I didn't just get practical things because why not? Um, actually I did, I, I got more elastic, which is a practical thing. This, um, during the summer, I think I'm gonna order some online because even though that's 50% off because it's a going, changing ownership sale or whatever, it's still a lot cheaper for me to buy bulk, but right now it just wasn't, it just didn't make sense for me to buy bulk because there's no way it would have got to me on time. But I bought some fabric too. So <laughs> I've been wearing bees for a while. So I got some tealy green with some bumblebees. I've been thinking about clouds for a while and this is just so pretty. Come on, look how pretty that is. So I thought that would be nice. Um, I also picked out this one. It's got some bats and everything. If you've ever watched, if you've ever watched uh, Sophia Nygaard, this is like, feels like her vibe. They had it in like a purple and a black too, but I really like that color. And then I was at the cutting table and she turned around. Well, look how cute these little hearts are. Hearts and stars. So I got that. And then the last thing I picked up was more remnant, which is just some shiny blue. So now I can add that with my green and my burgundy and my mustard. So I got tons of solids for remnants for scrunchies when I get the chance. And then I think I have like so many meters. That's like four meters there plus five that I haven't even touched, which makes nine meters plus then another 18 half meters. <laughs> And then the fabric that I used for the masks, I probably have like three quarters of a meter for both of those. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, so anyways, <laughs> now we're not going back to fabric land again. I hope not. Um, but uh, fabric. Anyways, so the plan now is I'm currently doing laundry. I just started it. And I think I probably want to start ironing the scrunchies that I have because I don't think that'll take I mean it's time consuming but I don't think it'll be like crazy long and then I pulled out some beef ground beef downstairs out of the freezer because I'm gonna make my batch spaghetti sauce for blind channel uh, so I picked up some spaghetti sauce for that today so like I got lots of stuff to do it's great it's crazy because with like two weeks left I was already like oh my god I'm running out of time and then um like I said earlier today I was like Oh, I had 10 days and now I have eight days and then tomorrow it's a week. And so I'm like, ah! <laughs> but at least my meeting at work is tomorrow. So that'll be good. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and I am going to try to get myself sorted before I have to flip my laundry over and um, hopefully just get things ready to do the, um, the ironing. I can get my sewing machine off my desk because it takes, well, I can iron with my sewing machine and my laptop and the ironing board on my desk. It's, it's, it's a little tight. Alrighty, so laundry is done and I think it's behind me there. Yeah, there it is. Um, all 48 scrunchies have been pressed <laughs> and the elastic is now in them. So that is very exciting. So all that requires now is sewing and the sewing should take less than an hour. I was thinking about doing that tomorrow, but I think like if I do it now, then I can actually put my sewing machine away again until fall. This is the second time I've put it away until fall. Um, and then I can clean up all my other sewing notions and everything. Oh, I also put all my threads in that bin my mom got me. Sorry, the lighting's bad over here. But yeah, so we're super organized. 42 out of 80 <laughs> that it can fit. And I was able to fit my bobbins in now because I don't have everything in there. But once I get everything in there, they won't fit. But I mean, so far so good. But yeah, I need to come up with storage solution because this is fabric, that's sewing stuff. This is fabric. That's scrunchies and that's embroidery stuff. Mats are a problem. And then I think, whoop, let's come over here. Yeah, I have 
more fabric and embroidery stuff. So I definitely whoop, need to come up with a solution for that. But again, I think that'll be a fall thing. Anyways, it is just after 6.30, so it's time to start cooking dinner. So I'm gonna go downstairs and, and um, eat some food. And then after dinner, I'm gonna just do the sewing and then keep on this list. I'm doing pretty well, I think. Alrighty, well, it is the end of the night now. I ended up having a bath and I like put on under eye masks and I watched some Gallivant and then I had a shower because I was gross and then I cleaned up my room mostly. I have a storage issue with these mats. I don't really know where to store them because I have to store them flat. So they're hanging out there now, but that's like back in order. I still have <laughs> my clothes here and then I've packed up all my scrunchies because it was just easier this way into this bag because my aunt wants to buy some tomorrow and we'll both be at work so I figured it was just easier that way instead of sorting like okay I'll just bring one of each mm, too much effort anyways I feel like I was pretty productive the only things that I did not do on my list were fold clothes and put clothes away I even packed up these totes a bit there's two of them I think I need to, no, no, I know I need to go through them. I was gonna bring my Udi out, you know, like my really oversized hoodie that's super cozy and a fleece blanket. And I think I have to choose between the two of them. And I think the fleece blanket is the way to go. I'm gonna think about it, but between the two of them, they just take up like half a tote each or like half tote combined. And that's just not gonna do it. Cause I still have like no clothes. <laughs> I have none of my tech stuff in there and so yeah like this year I said I was gonna bring more stuff than I brought last year which is what I said last year <laughs> last year I ended up I think bringing the same amount of stuff as the year before and I was like I don't have enough stuff and so I don't want to do that this year so we'll see but my embroidery takes up a lot of space, like all my floss and everything. I haven't even packed any fabric yet, so it's gonna be interesting, but that's a problem for another day, even though we're running out of days. So I'm gonna go to sleep. I have to get up early for work tomorrow, and then I have a meeting tomorrow, which I have to make sure I'm prepared for, so all good things, but I'm gonna go and I will see you tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> good night.